outside of Tucson this morning is about to get a little more colorful. The old Lisa Frank factory near Valencia and Country Club could be reopening, at least in some capacity. That's where we find Brooke Chow live for us this morning. Brooke, I love the pink. I feel like you're in the Lisa Frank spirit. Pretty exciting to be hearing this. I will wear pink any day, but yes, when I got sent to Lisa Frank this morning, I'm like, how perfect. But when we drove up here, I have to point out too, it is a little bit eerie. There is a lot of weeds, some faded colors out here. But what I want to bring your attention to, which is exciting, is that there is some construction work going on. Some of the new pavement in the parking lot, freshly painted parking lines, which really could only mean one thing. Is it coming back? Well, yesterday they did post a TikTok, but let me take you to some more vibrant photos right now because it is dark out here. We are in front of a fence. So let's take you to the Lisa Frank that you that you know and you grew up with. So the factory was built back in 1996 and it really became a staple in the late 90s, making brightly colored accessories and designs that were pretty popular across the country. But this place did eventually close in 2013. Ten years ago, sales just declined as the original fans grew up. Now, yesterday, the company posted a video on TikTok showing two Lisa Frank characters in front of the warehouse here in Tucson, right where I am, with the caption, we're back. Now, now, while the warehouse has been repainted, like I just showed you, and there is some work going on here on the outside, it is still listed online as being available to lease. Kega 9 did reach out to Lisa Frank, but we haven't heard back yet. This is a 320,000 square foot building, but I do have some good news for you. I went online and I found some job openings for Lisa Frank that were posted just yesterday. A few of them you have to be here in Tucson, and it says that they're hiring immediately. So be sure to check that on your phone. I also read some of the TikTok comments that they posted, and a lot a lot of people are saying millennials now have money, so a lot of people are excited to feel a little nostalgic and see what, what what's going to happen here. Um, I also think it's cute that this road is called Lisa Frank Avenue, but it isn't a business park. It's quiet here, but you can see a lot of these faded colors and some of the fences are now turning into the vibrant ones that hopefully the community is excited about. And of course, as we learn more, we'll continue to keep you updated uh, on what's going to happen here. Back to you, Claire. Yeah, Brooke, thank you. I mean, it's it's a huge change. Tucson has been so known for Lisa Frank for so long, so excited to see where this goes. Thank you.